Hey, certs would be the equivalent to, and the, I'm gonna just say non-practical certs, so people don't get the pains in the bunch. <laughs> and these certs would be equivalent to whether it's on a man or a woman, attract, uh, attract the person you're interested in, right? You know, I'm from the south, so you you see a, a, a girl from Tall Bay, you're like, oh dang, she thick. So you notice, hey, she thick. So the recruiter say, okay, cool, they got they got the security plus and and the cloud practitioner, and they working on CSSP. Then you start talking to them and realize, ah, oh, man, they just got these certs. They don't know nothing. Yeah. You talk to the person, they ain't got no personality. They, oh, this is a bird. Why am I talking? About? That's what I would equate search to at this current. Oh, you could have asked me about certs. Man, I'm so tired of certs. That's why I probably just asked you. <laughs> but certs that'll... versus degrees. Let's start a debate. <laughs> right. No, but the funny thing is, Somebody asked that in the um, chat, and we were going to get to it in the end anyways. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think about search, especially related to getting into the cloud? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think any of the certs that I had prior to starting my cloud job uh, that were... Uh, so I had the cloud practitioner before I started. Um, but granted, I did have A plus, Net plus, Security plus, you know, the the CompTIA, whatever, right? Um, the Trinity. The Trinity, yeah, the Holy Trinity. <laughs> um, but like, I don't think the cloud, the certs, really helped because my interview was very little on AWS. It was more on like you know infrastructure and stuff like that. So I don't think. I don't know if, if certs can really help you get a job other than getting you noticed because, you know, a lot of people have different desires. And sometimes if you have the right cert, maybe your resume will get picked out of the pile. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I figured I had a way to distinguish myself from everybody else on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's the analogies that I use because they are just stuff that anybody can understand, right? Right. So we would say certs would be the equivalent to, and the, I'm going to just say non-practical certs so people don't get their panties in a bunch. <laughs> and these certs would be equivalent to whether it's on a man or a woman, attract, uh, attract the person you're interested in, right? You know, I'm from the South. So you you see a, a, a girl from Fall you're like, oh, dang, she thick. So you notice, hey, she thick. So the recruiter say, okay, cool. They got they got the security plus and and the cloud practitioner, and they working on CSSP. Then you start talking to them, realize, ah, oh, man, they just got these certs. They don't know nothing. Yeah. You talk to the person, they ain't got no personality. That oh, this is a bird. Why am I talking about? That's what I would equate search to at this current point. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm a, co a career coach, as everybody knows. So I work with people who have certifications but can't answer some questions sometimes which isn't their fault necessarily because they don't have the experience in it and that's why i lean towards learning skills and taking those skills coupling them together to make meaningful projects versus just going out there and studying a month and getting a cert and think you're going to get paid a, a huge salary that's mm -hmm. why I, um, I advocate against that and um let me shout this person out real quick shout out to network your future for the 20 dollars super chat much love and respect and salute to you both. It's definitely a vibe up here. I appreciate it. I told everybody last year I'm going live like two times a week now. The schedule may change pretty soon. I'll definitely let everybody know about that. Um, but who knows? Three days. Honestly, look, I might start going live every day, like on some like I do this an, another segment where I'm talking about like current tech news. So it might be like tech news first take style. And if I could pull that off, that'll be that'll be dope which I have mm -hmm. a person I know I can pull it off with. Um, nice. But yeah, man, I, that's how I feel about the certs. Like, honestly, like I like mm -hmm. them, but I also can get pricey. And I, t I just know it's like all that game. Like, hey, like, cool. Like I always tell people, hey, get a entry level cloud cert, have some networking fundamentals. You don't have to get Network Plus. At least if you know about the stuff in Network Plus, good enough for me. And get you an mm -hmm. entry-level cloud cert. I have my little brother right now. He's a freshman in college working on a cloud practitioner. Because I want him to do the labs, do it, and I want him to understand the cloud. And if he likes it, he'll go that much deeper and, you know, it's fine. I, to me, I substitute A-plus with 
a cloud server because I feel like yeah, it's, they're about the same. Yeah, but I think it's actually just more beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, mm-hmm. at this point, you know how many security yeah. jobs say like you know, oh, must know of AWS, GCP, or whatever. Like for me, right? I just, like for example, when I brought up that instance, like they asked me that in the interviews all the time. It's like, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, because a lot of people don't even have their environment stood up right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think the 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 chase of certs is you know it's great. Um, it's just that, like you said, sometimes you can talk to people. And you're like, wow, you've got 18 different certs and uh, you're talking about, you know, trying to use RDP on a Linux box. Like Mm -hmm. that's command line only. Like it's sometimes, yeah, (laughs) you can really, really tell. Uh, But there's nothing bad about chasing certs because some people are lifelong learners and that's what they prefer to do. Right. And uh, here goes another question for you right here. Earlier, this person said, is this a career that I can transition to from being an IT help desk technician? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, Mostly because uh, in IT help desk, you really learn the fundamentals of IT. And uh, I think a lot of times, not that you can't do it, right? Because there's tons of people that like pen testing, for example, a lot of people want to be penetration testers and, you know, you can absolutely do that. You don't have to start at help desk. And I, I know I said cloud support isn't entry level. It, I don't think it is, but you don't have to start at help desk to get to cloud support. You could start at cloud support. As long as you can show your proficiency on understanding the basic levels of IT, because there are some things in IT that it doesn't matter what the specialization is, they are the same. They Mm -hmm. like they cross all boundaries. And so, you know, if you like help desk, you can absolutely transition into cloud support engineering. They even have cloud support associate. Um, I don't really know how people get that one. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know much about that role. It's the same, though. (laughs) Right. We got another one. They got here late. We're getting a CompTIA A plus and CompTIA Network Plus certificate. Oh. I'm tongue tied because I'm trying to read too fast. <laughs> and come to your network plus certification and be suitable to get into AWS. Um, we kind of talked about this already. I'm gonna say no. Short answer is no, it's not because you got the search, but if that's all you got, then what value do you you know present to the company you're trying to go to? Now, if you've got some skills and you couple that with understanding, like she's been talking to uh, talking about earlier, like EC2 instances, you didn't stood up 50 instances and you got a whole <laughs> network and you know how to do this and that and you got all these projects you got a portfolio on github by all means yes that's all you need like that's yeah. and that's the thing too if you really want to know the game find a person like her and reach out to her and say hey what would i have to like like no bs what would i have to know to do a role like this mm-hmm. and then she tell you and then you go replicate that in a project you might not get every role you interview for, but they're going to be impressed. You're going to land something because you know what you need to know to do the role and you can talk about it. Right. Yeah. It's not, it's not like super difficult. Um, it's just, it's just a different layer just because people have, they have, it's custom setups. So it's not your setup, it's their setup. And so you have to get the information from them. 